What did you think when you found out you had to make a dish with game? I asked my husband, what is the game? Is <laughs> Is it edible? <laughs> I just don't have a clue what it is. I never cooked game before and I never eaten one before. Oh. So what are you going to make for us today? I'm going to make new rice venison with pork and prune and serve with potato and Sierra mash. I think this is a tough round for you, but you can do this. I hope so, yeah, thank you. Yui is cooking for us a venison stew, which she's made with a haunch, and she's only got an hour and a half. And that concerns me. I hope she's got enough time to cook that and make sure that meat is falling apart and soft and not dry and a little bit tough. I'm very proud of my heritage, and having a dish that has Greek ingredients appreciated by people who may not even have had them before, it is thrilling. You live in the Lake District, so when you heard this challenge was about game, how did you feel? I love game, really love game. We have a couple of estates that breed grouse, and that's why I decided to do grouse. I'm cooking a grouse sous vide. A water bath? I have a water bath at home, so... Um, yeah, I, I love all the gadgets. I'm cooking a filo roll, which inside has bulgur, golden sultana soaked in metaxa, which is a Greek brandy, and uh, a jus with petit mezzi, which is basically a heavily, heavily reduced grape juice. And hopefully it will go with the grouse. So you've definitely brought your Greek influences into an otherwise British dish, right? Absolutely. Irene is cooking us a crown of grouse in sous vide with some butter and thyme. And then she's going to pan fry it so that hopefully the breast is not in any way dry. On the side of that, Irene's got a little tiny phyllo pastry, and on top of that, we've got honey around parsnips. The thing is, right now, that's a very sweet plate of food. Retired banker Irene is serving sous vide grouse breast. Phyllo pastry filled with bulgur wheat, metaxa soaked golden raisins, and black pudding, honey glazed parsnips, broccoli, glazed grapes, and a petit mezzi reduced grape juice jus. It's very pretty. I'm very glad to see a bit of pinkness on the grouse. I think this is extremely good. You've made a real virtue of the grouse. It's juicy, it's tender. And because grouse could be quite gamey, what you've done, I think, which is very clever, is created a bit of sweetness with your jus, with your gravy. I love this. I think it's fantastic. Irene, I was really concerned about all your sweet notes. But somewhere or another, you've got this absolutely bang on for me. I'm really impressed that you've done that in sous vide, but we've got a little bit of texture on the skin. I think it's a great dish. Thank you. I love the sweetness in your sauce that finishes with a little bit of bitterness. And inside those below pastry bulgar rolls, you've got little raisins as well, <laughs> giving some more sweetness. I think you've nailed a winning combination of flavours with very different ingredients. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. Yui has made a braised venison stew with port and prunes, served with green beans and carrots carved into flowers. I've never... I've never cooked a game, so hopefully it tastes OK. I've tasted quite a lot of venison stews, and this is not my favourite. I think the meat is quite tough. There isn't a wonderful, deep, warming feel to it. There is a bit of added interest with the prunes. I don't think this is really showcasing the best that venison has to offer. And I appreciate that it's not something that you've cooked before, so this is a real, a real challenge. The mash is nice, smooth, creamy. I'm getting a little bit of deepness of pork and that almost chewy sweetness of prune, um, but it's a little, little too sweet for me. Your venison is going a little bit dry because it needs to cook for another hour or so so it does become tender, but at the moment it's a little bit tough. Yeah, stew in an hour and a half is always going to be a tough one. <laughs> 